Pumakay na po kami ng bus. Pabalik na ulit sa bus. Ayan. Bus na po kami. square kilometer and uh, including three divisions we have a uh, Hong Kong Island this is a Hong Kong Island that base here eh? and the second one is a Kowloon Peninsula eh? and the most area we call new territories so I just told you the total area is 1100 square kilometer right but Hong Kong Island only get 98 square kilometer 98 and Kowloon more smaller only 50 square kilometer that means the rest 900 over square kilometer we call new territories uh, uh, before 1842 whole Hong Kong is belong to China okay only after 1842 after the first opium war between the British and Chino China, by that time, China is still under the emperor. We call Qing Dynasty. Okay, and uh, by that time, China was very weak. And then, always uh, we have a war with the European, and always defeated by the European. So, the first 
war between China and the Europe is uh, 1842. So after the Opium War, Hong Kong Island, this small island, was ceded to the British as a result of the 1920. And after 18 years later, we have another second Opium War. In 1860, 1868, was also ceded to the British. But the British are still not satisfied. They want to have more land from China to do business. Okay? So in 1898, 1898, they have a, a treaty as the Qing Dynasty to give the land to them. And they call this is a new territories. But new territories was under renting, rent, R E N T rent for 99 years. So 1898 plus 99, that means in 1997, the treaty was expired. And that's why Hong Kong returned back to China in 1997, and not 2000 or 19. Eh? Okay, that's the history, a very simple history about Hong Kong. Eh? And after 1997, Hong Kong returned back to China again. Okay. And the population about Hong Kong is uh, 7.5 million, okay? So how is the population in Philippines? Huh? 140 million. Uh, 100 million, okay. So, uh, I mean, among the 7.5 million population in Hong Kong, 90% is Chinese. So in Hong Kong, we are not speaking in English. Most of the people only can speak Cantonese and they only can understand Cantonese. Uh, and after 1997, the young generation they starting to learn the Mandarin. Uh, but English speaking is still not very popular in Hong Kong. Uh, okay, that's why Hong Kong family like to employ the Philippine people coming to Hong Kong as a uh, house helper because uh, they are. Expecting you can teach their children some English. Uh, although this is a bit English. <laughs> okay, but any, anyway, uh, it's better than cannot speak. Okay? Uh, okay. So I also have to say thank you for you, everybody, because uh, you help Hong Kong people a lot. Huh? Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm very grateful to you. That's why today we have a free tour for you. Huh? <laughs> my boss, my, my boss is here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, ninety percent is Chinese, and uh, how about the ten? Another ten percent. Another ten percent. Six percent is the British or European, and four percent your people, Philippine people, and Indonesian people. Okay. Uh, today in Hong Kong, we have. Uh, 44,000 uh, Philippine people working in Hong Kong. Uh, okay, so on Sunday, uh, the central become a dealer. <laughs> okay, uh, all, all Philippine people, okay? That's some uh, very uh, briefing idea about Hong Kong, okay? And now today, we are going to, to take you to four places. Uh, the first one, which one is the first, first one? Because uh, before in the old day, Hong Kong was just a fishing village. By that time, we only have uh, 8,000 people and uh, separated in different places. Uh, and the most, the most, uh, I mean, the popular place is uh, we call Aberdeen. Aberdeen is uh, the typhoon shelter for the fishing people. And also the shipbuilding industry in Hong Kong. So today, our first stop is going to